This is delta electronica power supply and we will see sequential programming in this power supply. Actually in sequence, sequencing what we do is we, we program the voltage and current and according to that the power supply behaves. For this we have to make a sequential program that we make in a net, uh, make it in a notepad. So we have to write a program, there are some commands for this for set the voltage, setting the current, time. So commands are there, specific commands are there and we need to make a sequence and then we upload it to the power supply and the power supply starts working according to the sequences written in that file. So this is a text, text file, we have written a program here like in first step it's written as SV equals to zero. So SV stands for set voltage, first we are making the voltage to zero, then second command is SC equals to zero, that means we are making current to zero. Again third, third command is W equals to two, this is the wait time in seconds, so it will wait for two seconds. Now the fourth step is SV equals to ten, it means set the voltage to ten volt. Next, SC equals to 5, so set the current to 5 ampere. Again, wait for 5 seconds, then set the voltage to 20, set the current to 10, wait for 10 seconds, again voltage to 30, current to 15, wait again for 5 seconds and make all 0 and then end. So after writing this in a text file, you have to save it in a .seq extension. So we will save it as .seq extension, save as we will name it as TST test make sure you have the extension as .seq after the file name and save as type will be all files so once we save this so we have saved the file as test.seq in desktop so now now we need to upload this file to this power supply so we will open the web page of this power supply for this we will open a web browser now we have already defined the web address of this power supply so we will just need to input the web address of this power supply so that is 192.168.100.25 that this web address is set in the power supply itself so once we press enter you can see a delta web page has opened now we need to upload the file to upload the file go to configuration now here we will find sequences so under sequences here you can find upload sequence so choose file you need to choose the file we have saved it in desktop so this is the test.seq file just press open now press upload once the file is uploaded if you have any written any wrong command or any mistake in the program it will automatically sh show you the error here syntax ok means everything is ok sequence build ok this is also ok now sequence test accepted if there is any mistake in the program it will show here failed our sequence our written sequence is ok so it has accepted the sequence now once it has act accepted the sequence we saw the power supply is in now front mode it means the power supply's voltage and current current will be controlled by the front panel itself so we need to make it in sequencer mode for this we have to go to Configuration under configuration will go to general. In general, we will go to so sources. We will change the voltage source and current source because we want to program it via sequencer. So we will need to make it as sequencer. So we will select the voltage source as sequencer from here, current source as sequencer from here, and we will apply the settings. Once we apply the settings, you will see the front has changed to sequencer for both voltage and current. Now the power supply is ready to power work with sequencer program. Now what we will do is, we will open the sequencer from here. Now under console we have sequencer. Before that we need to enable the output of the power supply. So just enable the output of the power supply, you can see the output is now turned on. Now go to sequencer. So like this a page will open. So this is the sequencer interface. Now you have to select the appropriate file here if you have multiple files you have to select the pro appropriate file from here we have only one file so we have selected test here and we need to press load 
once we press load you can see now the active file is showing as test condition is now it is stop so none properties you can start or stop state now the state is stop so to run the sequencer just we need to press this play button to stop the sequencer this stop button now these are all for making sequence run by one by one step so once we press this play button you can see the voltage will vary according to the program so first we have set 10 volt 5 ampere so sequencer has set 10 volt 5 ampere again waiting for 5 seconds it has set 20 volt 10 ampere now it will wait for 10 seconds and it will set 30 volt 15 ampere 30 volt 15 ampere so this is a set value and this is the actual output of the power supply now it has come to zero and the sequencer has again stopped you can see when we when we when it's in play mode you can see the active step also next step also from here next what is going to happen and what is the active step right now so we have connected a dso and once again we'll see the waveform in the output of the power supply in dso so i am running the sequence so you can see according to the sequence the voltage is getting updated in power supply also and you can see the output in waveform in the DSO also. So first it went to 10 volt then again to 20 volt and it will so you can have the timing also our time scale is 5 seconds so five, after 5 seconds it went to 20 volt and after 10 seconds it went again to 30 volt. So this is how sequencer is working.